Hey, what's going on? This is Jay from JHP Video Tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over Photoshop, basically, how to set it up and how to get ready for your Photoshop adventure. Make sure you have all your settings correct and your color space, your workspace all set up so you can dive into Photoshop knowing that your color and workflow is going to be set up as smoothly and as accurately as possible. So basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to start here on Bridge first because I wanted to show you a couple of options here in the metadata. So this way when we go into Photoshop, you'll understand why we're setting the settings the way we are. Notice here on my particular camera on the 5D Mark II, the bit depth is 16 and the color mode is RGB. I actually have that color mode setting changed to Adobe RGB in my camera. The other option is sRGB. But RGB has a larger color gamut, so it's actually better. And the bit depth of 16, that I can't adjust in my camera, but 16 is obviously better than... 14, 12, 8, whatever. 16 basically just means there's more colors, a lot more colors. So now when we go into Photoshop, you'll at least know where the numbers are coming from. So let me just double click this image real quick. This is a raw image, so I'm going to double click it, and that's going to open up the image in the ACR raw editor. All right, here we go. Now what I wanted to show you in here was, see this little blue bar here on the bottom? Click that, and that'll come up with your workflow options. This is important. What we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have it set to Adobe RGB 1998. And in my case, that's going to match the exact same profile as my camera. And most Canon cameras on the higher end, like 40D and up, have this option. I'm not sure if the Rebel series does, but it probably does nowadays. But in any event, I have this set, so it's the same as my camera, which works out great. Bit depth, I'm going to set to 16 bits. So this way, that's the same as my camera, and that's the best quality possible. Then the size here... I'm going to set mine to the default here, 5616, because that's what size my camera is. So I'll leave that alone. And then the resolution, I'll leave at 240. That's fine. Sharpening amount, I'm just going to leave that set to nothing right now. And this here, right there, open in Photoshop, a smart object, I'm not going to check that either. So now, just so you know, now we have our, our basic workflow setup started. This is the first step, opening your image in camera raw. So you got to make sure that you have this set right. So when you open it in Photoshop, everything will be matched. All right? So just click OK. And now you notice here on the blue bar, your, yours is going to be updated with the new information. It probably had 8-bit there, and it might have said sRGB possibly. So now that that's all set up, we can then go and edit our photo a little bit, or at least develop it a little bit here in the RAW. But for, for this demonstration, I'm, I'm really not going to do it. I'm just going to raise the exposure a little bit because that's bothering me. But... <laughs> So let me just open this up in Photoshop real quick and show you the other options, the other color setting options that we're going to need to check because this is very important. All right, so what we're going to do is, now that we have this open in Photoshop, you can see how Bridge is behind us. I'm on a Macintosh and it has this weird background where you can actually see through like that. I personally don't like that, so I just want to show you one thing real quick before we go any further. If you go to Window and just go to Application Frame right here and check that, that'll put the gray background back behind the image, which I personally like. I'm used to Windows, I guess, and when I switched over to Mac, that particular feature I did not care for. But in any event, let's edit the color now. Let's, let's get our color settings correct in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, and then we're going to go to Color Settings, like so. And here is the color settings. I'm just going to change mine back to North America General Purpose. This is what yours should look like if you're opening Photoshop for the first time. And this is what I'm going to recommend you change your settings to. I'm going to set it to Adobe RGB 1998. Notice that. So now the working space is going to be the same. So when an, a raw image opens, it's going to match, which is very important. The gray, I'm going to set to gray gamma 2.2. .2. All right. That looks pretty good. Then what I'm going to do, we, we want to preserve the embedded profiles. So color management policies, we want these set to preserve. And then we want to check all these boxes to make sure that our color spaces are matched. For example, if I tried to open an image that was set to sRGB in Photoshop, notice how here there's an sRGB option. If I tried to open an sRGB image in Photoshop, it's going to see that there's a mismatch because my, co my particular color space is set for Adobe 1998. And it's going to warn me and say, what do you want to do? Do you want to convert it? Do you want to leave it? So that's why these things are all checked, because you want to make sure you know what color space you're working in, and you want to make sure you know that your files are in the correct color space as well. Otherwise, you could be making adjustments and totally 
messing up the color and other things. So then I'm just going to click OK, like so. In the camera, it's shooting Adobe 1998 16-bit. That's what it's capturing. I'm looking at the raw file in Bridge. Then I, I develop the photo in Bridge and open it in Photoshop using those same color space settings, the Adobe 1998 and 16-bit. So we have a nice matched workflow. So that's what we're trying to do. We want to keep everything the same so there's no color management issues in the future.